welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to do like a nice haul video for you guys and there was a couple of things that I picked up recently um, and you know during the past couple of weeks so yeah so let me just uh, show you guys what I've got. I'm gonna start with um, smallest thing. So, so if you watched my uh, Nordstrom anniversary video you probably saw um, me showing you uh, Michelle watch. Uh, it was like a nice brown watch with the silicone um, silicone uh, strap and it was really really pretty but I changed my mind and I went ahead and I exchanged uh, that brown watch for white. I just thought the white will just go much nicer with you know the outfits that I wear and um, this is the watch that I picked um, so again it's the same watch but just different color scheme so it has the um, silicone um, strap as you can see and here's the face of the watch yeah it's very pretty I, I, I think it goes very nice and you know especially like for the summer I think it's such a nice watch and you know casual and yes I can change the strap so um, I'm actually planning to get a, just like a leather a nice leather white strap so um, this way the watch is not gonna be you know casual as casual I guess when you put like a you know nicer uh, leather strap so but anyway so yeah I just wanted to update you guys on this because I really really like this watch and I have been wearing quite a bit Okay, so last week I I went to Nordstrom and it was still the last week of the uh, anniversary sale and there was really nothing specific that I wanted but you know, you kind of just go around and kind of, you know, see what they have. Uh, so I visited the uh, jewelry counter and again I purchased a little tiny bracelet from Nadri and if you watch my channel you know that I really really love Nadri um, items. I think they look stunning they're just beautiful and they are not super expensive so that's really what i love about um the line so what i've purchased is this beautiful very um very dainty very small like um delicate uh, bracelet so it only has like this little bar and i believe believe these are like a little crystals or something I don't know but they really look like diamonds to be honest with you and the rest of the bracelet is very simple so um it comes with different colors but that was part of the anniversary sale as you can see it's really really pretty um on my hand and this one is also notary this also I picked up at the anniversary sale so um yeah I think it's very beautiful and it's uh it's adjustable so there's some you know like additional links that you can actually um if you're if you have like a smaller wrist there we go um and this was I believe only about $25 so it was really really reasonable and I I just love this you know kind of silver looking <laughs> uh, bracelet with um, with the shiny stones I think it just looks very pretty all right so if you saw my anniversary video um, uh, the Nordstrom anniversary video I purchased via Spiga uh, like mules slip-on shoes and um, I'm sure you saw me complaining of why I had to return the shoes it's because the um, I guess the arch of my feet is a little bit smaller and those shoes were very high and my feet were pretty much just slipping off the shoes so I did end up returning those mules but when I went to the Nordstrom I again I went to the shoe department and they also have these shoes on the sale as a part of the anniversary sale which are amazing I tried them on obviously and um, I'm very very happy so let me show you guys so this is a beautiful pair of you know um, these are also like a slip-on shoes um, that um, I'm gonna wear it now you know when the, we are going into the fall and winter and these are the shoes I'm just gonna wear with my jeans um, I wish they had a little bit different uh, sole because these are like you know very kind of robust but um, nevertheless I really like the little um, details of the uh, um, what is it elastics and they are the leather is slightly like patent 
um, and they are beautiful. I, I really, really love them. They are very comfortable. The other shoes that I was talking about in my anniversary video were extremely, extremely comfortable. So I'm very glad I actually discovered that line. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be, um, you know, checking some more shoes from that line. Um, so obviously the anniversary sale is over, but this particular uh, pair of shoes is still going to be available. So let me show you guys the, uh, uh, in case you want to order one for yourself, here's some more info. Um, this shoes, the, the, the anniversary price was $147 and I think they went up to $225. So um, yeah, but they are incredibly, incredibly comfortable. I got them in the nine, a usual eight and a half or nine. It really depends on the, you know, of the... Uh, company that makes the shoes but um yeah i really really like them so i'm gonna share with you one purchase that um my husband made for him uh and um he loved the shoes and i actually love them too they came from gucci so they came in this beautiful new packaging and he picked Ta -da! <laughs> those sneaker shoes so they are um, like a canvas on the outside and they have this little I don't know is it like a kind of a lion or <laughs> tiger um, you know details on both shoes obviously and they he told me they are incredibly incredibly comfortable I actually end up trying them on and because they are leather line as you can see inside they are just so soft so nice Every time I saw the shoes, I thought they were going to be just very uncomfortable because of the canvas. But they are leather line and the leather is incredibly soft. So um, he loves the shoes. He wore them once already. So they are a little bit dirty on the bottom. Uh, but he loves it, you know, like really, really cool. I've seen them a couple of months ago on, uh, you know, for women. But like I said, I never tried them. And I tried to find them in my size, you know, from the women's section they're gone I don't think they're making them anymore but for men there was still quite you know a lot of uh, a lot to choose from so in case you guys want to purchase these shoes here's some more info he got them from Neiman's um, I believe there were 500 it says in here five, yeah five hundred forty five dollars um, and like I said he got them from uh, Neiman Marcus okay let's talk about the next item <laughs> more shoes guys as usual we're buying a lot of shoes we loved shoes so i when we went to newman marcus i got myself another pair of chanel shoes and uh i tried a lot they had like this really cool looking um uh, chanel shoes it, it was very kind of sporty but has like it was all black has like little pearls going all around the shoes it was amazing it was about 800 dollars. i was so ready to buy it but it was just so not in my size i mean they had my size but it seems to be my size seems to be too tight um in like a toe in the toe section and then when i went half a size up it was way too big so i think they're just there was something off with the sizing but the shoe was incredible and i wish i you know i could just match to my feet but anyway nevertheless <laughs> i got another pair which i really didn't think i would just gonna like but hey it happens <laughs> so obviously it comes beautiful packing packaging uh you got two dust bags in here here are my new babies <laughs> so this is the um I don't know what's the name of let me show you guys first um they call them moccasin loafers here's some info these are black velvet shoes with a gold um stitching and uh a gold little cc's as you can see going all over um the shoes it's very very comfortable um the lady told me to take exactly my size which in a chanel shoes i'm always 39 and a half um and she told me to take my shoes because she said my size because they're gonna slightly stretch since they are all uh leather lined so obviously it says um chanel right here in the middle so guys the shoes are so so beautiful and like i said i love the details and i think i can just wear them uh you know to some of my concerts so they are perfect 
you know, stage shoes. They pro they definitely not everyday <laughs> shoes. So I don't know if everybody would have, you know, use of this, but I absolutely love these. So if you have been following me on Instagram, and if not, I'm just gonna leave my Instagram name below. You've seen me in posting uh, the um, picture <laughs> of Prada shoes. So um, here's a quick story. Uh, it was last week, a couple of days ago. Yeah, last week. Last week on the over the weekend, I think Monday or Sunday or Monday. Anyway, uh, my husband uh, got an email from Newman Marcus saying that they have a designer sale, blah, blah, blah. Usually I don't find anything that will suit me during those sales uh, because they have like very odd things left. But it was just a pure luck. They have a one pair of shoes that it was left in exactly my size and I love the color. So it came in this beautiful box. It's a pretty big box and you open like so and they are very nice to um, Prada dust bags. Very nice colors. So there we go. And I got Tadho! <laughs> so this is like um, espadrille sandals in this beautiful um, cognac kind of um, suede leather. Very, very, very pretty. Extremely comfortable. I actually wore them uh, today. Um, you can't even tell. <laughs> but um, yeah, oh, there's some dirt. Oh, that's a st part of the sticker. So I wore them today for the first time. They were very, very comfortable. So here's the sole. Um, here's the side. So the, um, the you know, the, the sole here is very, very thick. It's like a double kind of espadrille. It's cr incredibly nice made and they are very, very soft. Like this part is just so incredibly soft. And... Um, they are all lined in leather, so again, like I said, it's very, very soft. And <laughs> they are a little high, but because they have this, uh, you know, kind of buckle here on the side, my my feet are not slipping off. <laughs> but yeah, they could be a little bit, you know, more narrow. I guess I have more narrow feet, that's why. Um, but yeah, I mean, isn't that beautiful, you guys? They are so nice. If you want to see the picture on this shoes on my uh, on my feet, you should go and check out my Instagram because I posted some photos. So yeah, and <laughs> the funny things: the original price for the shoes was seven hundred fifty dollars, I think, and then they were on sale for four hundred fifty, and I end up getting them for two hundred fifty dollars. So this is definitely a score. <laughs> Okay, you guys, the last item that I'm going to share with you very quickly is something that I purchased from Tiffany. Again, I post some photos on the Instagram. So let me show you quickly, guys, what I've got. I'm going to open up this way so I'm not going to destroy the uh, ribbon because this is so beautifully uh, tied. There we go. So it says Tiffany and Co. And honestly, guys, this is my very first Tiffany piece, but it's not a jewelry. <laughs> so here it is. It's beautifully packaged. Okay, let's check it out. The item comes in this little baggie right here, which I'm going to open up. And I purchased, let me see if it's the correct side. Ta da! <laughs> so, this is a beautiful Tiffany pencil case made of leather. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous, you guys? So, it says Tiffany and Co. in here. It features a beautiful, very heavy and sturdy uh, pull, zipper pull, and it's all in silver. And then, when you open very smoothly, oh, there's some stuffing. It's all kind of silver inside. And it's just gorgeous. I originally wanted to um, purchase the pencil case from uh, Louis Vuitton, but first of all, I just feel they are ridiculously expensive. I think it's like four fifty, which I just think it's it's just too much. I'd rather have a wallet. Um, 
that's why I end up going with the Tiffany. If you guys want this little item, you should rush to order from online. I would suggest go online because they really don't, um, they don't carry this in the stores anymore. This item is being retired and I really, really love it. The, the Louis Vuitton one is bigger. And I really wanted something just to fit a couple of, you know, a couple of pencils. It's really called a brush case, but it is a pencil case. So, um, yeah, isn't that beautiful? And it has all this um, very nice, you know, Tiffany-like turquoise kind of grained leather. So it's very, very good quality. So, yeah, guys, so this is pretty much my haul. Um, I went to the Louis Vuitton store and I checked tons of bags and I posted some of them on Instagram on my insta stories I'm kind of disappointed really with the Louis Vuitton these days there is nothing that my heart is like screaming towards except the capucines uh one of the bags that I'm kind of you know it's on my radar but other than that I'm really kind of down to be honest with you guys and I'm such a Louis Vuitton lover and it's just I don't know something happened the things just doesn't work out and I feel like you know the quality is going down and the prices are going up and I just I don't know but nevertheless my birthday is coming up in September and I really think I'm gonna go for the Dior bag so my next big purchase I think it might be from Dior that's kind of where I'm going <laughs> towards these days so yeah <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for commenting and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.